this video I'm going to take you through how to make a stereo recording using the Zoom H4n. So I'm going to take you through from the absolute start to finish and not miss anything out. Okay, first of all, you need to either have batteries in the back or you need to have it plugged in. I've got it plugged in just for simplicity's sake here. So what's the first thing you want to do is make sure you have an SD card in here. Now, if you're having any troubles recording, it could be your SD card, so just be aware of that. When we purchased the Zoom, we got a free SD card with it, but that, that card didn't actually work in it, and we thought the Zoom was, wasn't working properly, but as soon as we changed cards, um, it started working again. There is a list of um, approved sort of SD cards on the Zoom site, and I'll add a link to that page um, under this video. But um, we're using uh, the SanDisk, Ultra. Uh, this is a 16 gig. You can use up to 32 gig in here. And this is an SD. This is a um, a class 10. So, but I don't know if you need a class 10. You could probably use others. But again, the link will be in the uh, below this video. So, you need to pop that in first before you even turn it on. Pop that in. Then we turn it on by holding the switch down here for a second and then the screen will come up. Now it may take a while when you first put in a new card uh, for this to load so if you're finding it's taking a while it could be again the card might be a problem if it takes a really long time. So what we're wanting to do here today is just record using the inbuilt microphones up here. So you can plug in other microphones, but we've, we'll go into that in other videos. But for the moment, we're just going to use the inbuilt mic that's there. So and we want to record in stereo mode. There are four modes, and we've done another video on the different modes as well. So just check out our channel playlist and um, look for that. But for today, as long as we're in stereo, um, we're set to go. Now, if you're not in stereo, then all you need to do is come over here to your menu, click on that and then scroll up or down until you see mode. Select that by pushing in the scroll wheel and then you can select there. And again, push in the scroll wheel to select and that will make sure that you're in stereo mode. Okay, so as long as we're in stereo mode, we're good to go. Uh, we need to make sure that this is lit. That button being lit means that you're using these um, microphones up here could also mean you've plugged in an external mic here but for, you know we're only keeping it simple at the moment so it, it means that red light lit means you're using that if these lights were lit one and two here that equates to these two here which means you've plugged in external microphones but that's another video so for the moment just make sure that light is lit there and what you want to do, if you, if you want to, you don't have to, but you can go and select a folder that you want to store this um, recording into. Now we've done a video on that, so you just need to go to our playlist and look for the video on um, accessing files and folders. But for the moment, the Zoom does this automatically. If it's your first recording, you don't need to worry about it. It'll automatically create a file name and put it into a folder for you. So here we go, we can see down here we've got SD. So that says we've got an SD card and that tells us how many minutes we've got of recording time or hours. 13 hours, 27 minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, so let's get going and start recording. So the first thing we want to do is press the record button here. Now you may think that means it's recording, but it's not actually. You can see there's no timer moving anywhere. It's flashing, but nothing's happening. What this is actually doing is just arming it, getting it ready for you. So you can make changes to the settings while you're doing it. Because you can see now we've got the left and right channel here zipping up and down as I talk. So the louder I talk, if I talk really loud, you can see it go, going up a bit. So what we can do is adjust this before we start recording. What you want to do is get it around here. It'll depend on your recording, of course, but you want to probably get this around here. So as I'm talking there, you can see that's quite low. So I want to bring that up to about there. And the way to do that is to move this recording level button up. So if I click on that, you'll watch this and see how it goes up there. So I want to get it up to around, around about there. So if I'm talking now, that's a little bit better, maybe even a little 
more. The maximum is 100. So that'd probably be about right for me. I might turn it up a bit more, I don't know, depending on how it went. So the other thing to think about is um, distorting the sound. If I, if I turn that up too high, just say I turn it up to 100 and I talk, it's actually not too bad. It's still not clipping. If it was, this would be flashing. So if I flick my fingers now, you watch this little microphone button flash. When it's flashing like that, it means you've really got this up too loud, this recording level. So you need to adjust it to a, a level that's better. So if I was doing that clicking of the fingers, I'd probably want to move it right, right down. Let's see how that would go. You can see now it's not flashing away. Okay. So, but for my voice, I want to bring it up because that's all I'm recording, going to be recording with this. So I might keep it around there. So, okay, so that seems fairly good. So once I've got the recording level ready, I can click the record button again to actually record. So recording involves two button presses, in other words. Okay, so if I press the record button now and record something, this is my first recording. Okay, so that was the stop button to stop the recording. And you can see now it's created a file. It's created this WAV file here automatically. Now I can just play that back to, to listen to it by pressing the play button here. This is my first recording. Okay, so and we can access that file by clicking on the folder button here. Well, we don't necessarily have to do that, but that will show us which folder. So it would have put it into folder one. That's usually what um, um, Zoom, the Zoom will do when you, on your first recording. It'll automatically put it into folder one. So to access the file, we just press on the file button here. And there it is there. So it's put it in folder one for you. And that's your file. So you'll be able to, if I turn this off now, I've finished recording. Now I can take my SD card out, pop that into the back of my computer now and access the files from, from this um, card. So I'll be able to see that STE001.WAV file in there and I'll be able to edit it on my computer. So that's how you do a recording using the Zoom H4n.